ready to crazy fangirl shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be watching the 10th episode of Outlander. It's, oh, it's very exciting. Um, we were left, well, not on a cliffhanger, but last episode was very emotional. We all know why, because Jamie nearly died. And, oh. It was a touching episode in all sorts of ways, but also it was kind of like a cliffhanger because now we kind of know, and the book readers kind of know, they, they probably know a lot more than me now at this moment, that, you know, Bonnet's kind of coming back into the story now. So that means, you know, he's slithering his evil way into the story again, and that means there's going to be a lot of angst. Don't know what's going to happen. Um, haven't watched the promo, so I'm going in completely blind and, oh. I'm, I'm nervous because I've been thinking about this since I did the reaction last week. And I'm nervous because Bonnet is a creepy ass boy. I call him a boy because he's not a man for everything he's ever done. Um, because he's a... <laughs> There's many names I can call that man. But anyway, um, we're going to jump right into this. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm nervous. All sorts of words. But yeah, anyway, let's just jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but to also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows and, excuse me, video games and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. When will we have his signature, sir? I've provided him with the names of the witnesses from the tavern, and I've confirmed that they will attest to the circumstances on said evening. We should have a signature by the end of the week. Wait. This is making me really sick. So, to the people who were there when he raped her, they're signing it to say that they were witnesses to the event and that it may have even been consensual? I thought I hated this guy before and now I, I can't. I can't. This is just disgusting. Such a shame. Them being married for so short a time. How she chose that old buffoon, I'll never know. She humiliated me during my courtship with her niece. When River she Rose did. Came, you, you. Mm. You'll get your money. Wait you a second. Me. They said how short of a courtship with um, Jocasta and her husband. Are they planning to kill him? No. Are they planning to kill both of them? No. Please, no. Okay, I had one half of my ship with Jocasta broken because... Bless his soul, merch is no longer there. If she dies, I'm going to riot. I swear to God, because I love her. Even though she annoys me at times, but I love her anyway. Oh. <laughs> Who's watching them? It has to be Bonnet or that other that slimy lawyer. If you fall, Roger Mac, no, I will avenge you. And if you fall, I will avenge you. Oh. A bargain, is it? Character development! <laughs> heck yeah, Jamie! Heck yeah, Roger! God damn, the show's getting better and better. <laughs> oh no, wait! They say to see lives inside every shed. <gasps> no! This is all because she told him that that child was his. This is why, Brianna, this is why you think before you say things. I get you were emotional, but now you've got to put ideas in his head. You're drawn to me. We're drawn to each other. That's why fate has brought us together again. And again. No. To be parents to Jeremiah. <gasps> oh, but this is the thing. And I love this because there's so much depth to him as a character. Like, yes, we see him as the antagonist of the story, but if we look at it from his perspective, you know, obviously he's had a bad, um, how should I say it? Like, upbringing, of course. 
anyone who acts like that probably does. Um, but he, yeah, like, in his mind, he wants to learn how to be a gentleman for her. He wants to learn how to be a better father and a gentleman for his son. And, you know, in his head, he thinks, like, oh, I'm doing this for them, I'm doing this for my son, and stuff like that. But, like... But obviously from our point of view, it's so messed up because he raped her. And then he's saying like, you know, it's totally okay. And uh, it's not. It's not okay. And oh god. He needs his mother. Well, I never had a mother. Well, I had a father. I was an orphan. Such good acting. But I hate him still. I just want to pause. God damn. He's such a good actor because, uh, as you guys know from season four when I was reacting to it, I know him from uh, Downton Abbey and he was a real shithead in that too. Um, for other reasons, he was very, um, just... Um, very eccentric as well in that one, but in a different way. Um, oh, chills the whole time, but just such amazing acting. God damn, from both Sophie and, from both Sophie and, um, I'm not sure what his name is again, but, oh, god damn. Because you want to feel sorry for him, because, uh, yeah, well, you had a bad, br like, brought up, like, okay, but, uh, okay. Back to you. She's playing into his game. Yes, Good on her. I let my feelings cloud my judgment. In the last oh. time I did that, I was a young man. I'll show you what you're missing. Oh god, are you kidding me? Oh. I want you to help me bestow some gifts upon my family. Gifts? What kind of gifts? My fortune. Yeah, that puts a full stop in your plans, mate! Young Ian, bless him. Something to get him on his feet. One hundred, no. Two hundred pounds. <sighs> She's such well, a sweet lady. That is astonishingly kind. You hardly know the lad. And was it not enough to bequeath your property to young Jeremiah Mackenzie? You're diminishing from his inheritance. It is better to give than to receive. We mustn't forget young Lizzie. Lizzie. The servant. She's a poor sweet thing. Twenty-five pounds? No. No. You can't give away my money. What? You have me no choice. <gasps> no! No, you monster me! Stop it! No! <gasps> oh, you Lizzie's! Costa died, I wouldn't have been able to function. Oh, but Ulysses coming in there like a boss and killing that idiot. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh my heart can't take this. Oh, why, Outlander? Oh. Heck yeah, husband and wife duo. Ew. Oh, oh no! <gasps> yes! Trying still owes us for his mistaken elements. You'll see him condemned. Please. Sure if it's Bonnet gets away again, I'm gonna be annoyed. Stephen Bonnet, known pirate and smuggler, was tried this morning before the Wilmington Committee of Safety and sentenced to death by drowning. <laughs> In a way. Or was it to me? 
make sure he's dead. Oh, finally! <laughs> Is it the end of the episode? Oh my god! What a fucking episode, guys! What the hell was that? Oh my god! So many twists and turns, and oh. Oh god. I didn't think that, like, Brianna would be saved in this episode, or that he would die in this episode. Oh. <sighs> But the satisfaction is so sweet. Oh, I've, this girl right here. Whew, a lot of stress has been lifted. Oh, my lordy lord. Okay, first off, the acting across the board for everybody who was involved in this. Absolutely amazing. From, from Billy Boyd to the guy who plays Stephen Bonnet all the way to the original cast that we love. Holy shit. Like, oh. And yeah, and Ulysses as well, amazing, and Jocasta, dude, don't even get me started. If she had died, I would have rioted, for sure, because, oh, Murta's death was enough, but like, if she died, I would have been really, really sad. Oh, god damn, this episode, I will admit, was really, really heavy. Um, oh, it's been a long day because I woke up early to do my university, like I had my lectures and stuff. <sighs> to finish the end, if if it had ended with, for example, the death of somebody, like a good character or like a rape or something, I wouldn't have been able to have a good night for the rest of the evening. Oh, but thank God! <laughs> He's dead! Finally! We've been waiting for so long! Um, if- yeah, in the comments, I usually say it at the end, but in the comments, can you please let me know if you guys thought that- Stephen Bonnet would have died in this episode or the next episode because that's why I'm really surprised that he died in this episode. I was waiting for it to like end like towards like you know like when they were like next to the boat and stuff. I thought it would end there and be like you know like Wilmington like we might like take him there blah blah blah. I thought it would end there but the fact that they <laughs> sentenced him to death and then he died oh my god. <sighs> god damn. All this over a child and Brianna god damn. Oh <laughs> Oh gosh, that's oh, it's been a crazy ride. I don't know what to what's gonna happen now though because like now I'm in the dark because I have no idea what else happens in Outlander or how long this story goes for. Has it and people can correct me on this? Has it been renewed for like because usually they renew it for two more seasons? Has it been renewed? I don't think so because I remember when it was first renewed for season four and five. It was during season three, like at the beginning, like when the first episode came out, they were like, oh yeah, congratulations Outlander, there's two more seasons coming out. So um, I'm not sure if there's any more, is there going to be more seasons or is this the end? No, this can't be the end. It's getting better now. <laughs> um, oh, I hope that there's going to be more seasons, but yeah, now I'm stressing out because I think there's two more episodes yet because there's 12 episodes in this season now. Oh, my heart. Oh, I got, oh, I'm too emotional for this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my lord. Mm. Good, really good episode. The script acting on point and just everything about it. The tension, the music, cinematography. One thing I want to talk about is that one scene where um, Bonnet was like next to Brianna's shoulder in the first few, um, not the first few minutes, but like, Probably, like, near the middle of the episode where, you know, they're in the bedchamber and she's with the book and he's looking over her shoulder. I love how everything, like, I might put a screenshot up just to make it easier for you guys to see what I'm talking about. How everything else is in light, but he's in just, like, shadow and the only light that's hitting his face is just on his features. But everything else is shadow. And, oh, I, I love great cinematography. It sets the mood and they really set the mood for this episode. Oh... Now I'm trying to think what's going to happen next, like in the next episode and the one after that. Gosh, it's going to be emotional. I'm not ready. Oh, God, okay. Oh. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Outlander. Holy goddamn shite. Like, what? Oh, there's such an emotional roller coaster. Can't believe it. It's so good, though. Very well done. And, oh. I can't wait for next week's episode, but I'm just in the dark now. I don't know what's going to happen. I probably won't watch the promo again because I don't want to get, like, spoilers. Like, I know that they only go for a few seconds, but um, I still just want to go in blind and see everything firsthand for myself. So, yeah, I'm going to look forward to next week's episode. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!